Let's say you're a farmer, and you've just spent the entire day planting tomato seeds. A few crops begin to sprout, but before long you begin to notice a colony of stink bugs that are munching away on your precious tomatoes. How do you get rid of them once and for all? Now, you could use a commercial pesticide, but it would be expensive and tedious to spray each and every plant. The answer? Recombinant DNA technology. This process allows scientists to cut out specific genes from one organism's DNA and insert them into another organism. Remember, genes code for proteins, and sequences of proteins code for traits. So recombinant DNA lets us do something totally amazing. Give favorable traits to organisms that need them. Let's go back to our dilemma to see how this works. A certain species of bacteria known as Bacillus thuringiensis contains a gene known as the cry gene, which codes for the production of toxic insecticides. So our goal now is to give the bacteria's cry gene to the tomato plant. This process can be divided into three major steps. Step 1. Restriction incision. First, we're going to take a pair of molecular scissors to cut out the segment of the bacteria's circular DNA that codes for the production of the cry gene. These scissors are called restriction enzymes, which recognize and cut out specific short strands of DNA. One of the most common restriction enzymes is known as Echo R1. By inserting two Echo R1 restriction enzymes into the bacteria's DNA, we now have our gene of interest. The short single-stranded tails that are left behind are called sticky ends, which will be important later. We have now isolated the cry gene from the rest of the bacteria's DNA. Step 2. Vector Connector To create more copies, we need something called a vector to shuttle the cry gene to a new recombinant DNA molecule. For our vector, we use a plasmid from a bacteria called agrobacteria, which has also been cut with the Echo R1 restriction enzyme. The sticky ends of both DNA strands will line up, and then an enzyme called DNA ligase will permanently seal these new base pairs. We have now created our new recombinant DNA molecule. Step 3. Apply the cry. The recombinant agrobacteria now have the cry gene, meaning every time they reproduce, so will the cry gene. Once enough copies have been formed, we can give the cry gene to our tomato plants by co-cultivating the colony of agrobacteria with pieces of our tomato plant. Agrobacteria are one of the only known species of bacteria able to naturally integrate their DNA into plants. Now we've created a tomato plant garden that has both the cry gene and, more importantly, the property of insecticide. The applications of recombinant DNA extend far beyond our tomato plant scenario. Now, scientists have been able to create stronger medicines, diagnose genetic diseases, and even create glow-in-the-dark fish. This process is one of the most revolutionary discoveries in science. A discovery that may one day save anything from your tomato plant garden to your life.